Hi there, I'm Arwazi and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 Hazardland. So, when I last left off, I started a war between Morocco and Ethiopia, and I was debating getting Ram to declare war on Spain. It's going to cost me a lot, but it's definitely worth it. They currently have declaration of friendship, so that will turn Ram into a backstabber. And Spain has the second biggest army right now, so that will also keep Ram busy. And I want to keep him busy, because he's quite strong. So let's do it. I might have to give him some coal and oil because otherwise this will cost me a lot of money. But that's okay, I have 9 coal and 10 oil, so I can give him a few. Let's see, declare war on Isabella. He doesn't value iron or horses anymore, at least I don't think so. I'll check just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure I checked this already. No, he doesn't want that. Okay, I can give him 2 coal. And I can give him half of my oil, that's fine. Okay, and then I'll have to give him some gold per turn. Let's try 25 first. So, declare war on Spain. No, he won't do it. Okay, let's raise the price then. 27, 28, 29. He will do it eventually. Okay, 30 gold per turn, 2 coal and 5 oil. That was an expensive war to start, but it was definitely worth it. That will keep Ram busy for a while. Also, I already airlifted one worker to Pyongyang, but I think I'm going to airlift another. It's not like they have anything better to do right now, so might as well. I have quite a few tiles that I need to repair. I'll do it. Ethiopia is denouncing me, okay. <laughs> Whatever. Ask me if I care. Oh, also, I can actually get Kram here. Because it's not connected right now. Alright, not that I really need more happiness. But I can always sell one. For 360 and I can definitely use money. I still need to upgrade some units. This entire aircraft gun to mobile sum for example. That's going to cost me 200 something gold I think. So now I just need to wait for my peace treaty with Korea to expire, because I still want to take at least one more city from them. I actually expect some of the other AIs to declare war on Korea, like Spain. Spain will definitely try to take advantage of this situation. They are not currently at war with Korea. I don't think they have a peace treaty anymore either. Saludos. So I expect them to declare war, even though they are at war with Ram. But they have a large army. Anyway. World Congress or United Nations. I don't want a world religion. So I'll vote against that. Okay. Let's repair that wheat farm first. And I lift the other worker to Pyongyang. Just to repair these improvements faster. And I think I'll just disband this archaeologist. I couldn't find any antiquity sites anywhere close or anywhere in the map at all. And there's no need to pay maintenance for this guy. Yeah, I'll just disband him. Okay, also, I need open borders with Askia if I want to move through here. And I want to send that summon into Pyongyang. You know, just in case. One gold per turn. Yep, okay. Now I can move through here. Can I actually move through here? Oh, I can't. Okay. It's not actually possible? It should be possible. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's possible. Alright. Yeah, that will take like 20 turns to actually get to Pyongyang, but oh well. <laughs> Whatever. This city will actually be out of resistance on the next turn, so that's nice. It will have pretty good production. I could use a seaport in this city. Yeah, Ethiopia doesn't like me too much, apparently. They think I'm a warmonger. How unreasonable. But Ethiopia is going to be busy. If I could start a war between Ethiopia and Ram, that would be perfect. And Spain declared war on Korea. I expected that. Korea is very weak right now. Spain can probably take at least one, maybe two cities easily. I actually want to just completely wipe out Korea. Just to make sure they won't do anything funny. They are still technically the tech leader. So I just want to wipe them out. I'm at 68 techs. Ethiopia is also at 68. So since Korea is pretty much irrelevant now, 
I'm more or less the tech leader. Since I will wipe out Korea on the road later. With some help from Spain, I suppose. Repair this and I'll just annex the city right away. Switch it to production. And let's see, courthouse. Monument. That's one turn. City walls, shrine. I could actually use a little bit of extra faith. I queued up a temple somewhere. And then we'll see. Harbor, aqueduct. Harbor is less important right now. Actually, it is kind of important. But after the shrine and monument. And probably castle after that. Okay. Plus one population in Cork, nice. Yeah, that's the temple in Cork. Where's that new citizen? On the uranium. That's actually fine. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Alright, next. I'll get under a policy in 15 turns. I wonder if I can get a level 3 tenet by the time I'm done with my spaceship. Because then I could use a great engineer to rush a spaceship part. It might actually be better to save my faith for a great engineer and not use it for a great scientist. Because with order, if I can get a level 3 tenet, I could actually rush my last spaceship part using a great engineer. But I need to actually get a great engineer in the first place. I'm not sure if I'll get one from my great person points, probably not. Great engineer. No, that's not going to happen. 96 turns. I'll need to get one from Faith in that case. Let's see, how many turns would that take? Yeah, I would need more Faith. But I can get a temple in Pyongyang. I can get a temple in Cork. Dublin already has a temple, I think. Does it? Should. Does it not have a temple? No, I'm pretty sure it does. That's weird. It has a shrine. I'm not seeing a temple. Oh, it's queued up, right. Hmm. Well, I could prioritize it a little bit more. I will get East India Company in Dublin because there are a lot of trade routes incoming to Dublin. I see, what, four, five, six trade routes being sent to Dublin. So it's a pretty good idea to build East India Company here, but I will prioritize that tempo a little bit more, maybe even before the Artist Guild, but after the Apollo program, obviously. So Kilkenny. The city has a tempo already. Let's check Limerick. Limerick also has a tempo and Waterford. Waterford doesn't. So after the recycling center, or maybe before the recycling center, Wait, does it not have a temple? No, it does have a temple, never mind. So I just need a temple in Dublin, Cork and Pyongyang. Hopefully that will be enough faith. It might not be. But extra faith will always be useful. If I don't faith by a great engineer, I can faith by a great scientist. And then maybe get a great engineer from my great person points. I don't think I'll get one fast enough. But we'll see. Can I get any more points? Which city was that anyway? I need to wait for my turn. Come Open borders with William. Yeah, I can accept that. But William is pretty much irrelevant now. I don't think he'll get wiped out, but he's not very strong. He lost all his core cities. Sucks to be him right now. Yeah, the AI turns will be taking a while now, probably. Especially with so many cities and huge armies. Right. One turn for a research lab, nice. Which city was that with the great engineer? With the most progress, at least. Oh yeah, that was my capital. Should have expected that, I suppose. Yeah, I could get a windmill to speed this up a bit. Because that will give me an extra slot. And I guess I should. So prioritize the windmill. Even more than the temple. Yeah, okay. Windmill after the Apollo program. That will also speed up the other buildings. 
because that's plus 10% production towards buildings. Upgrade this guy. Upgrade this guy. Do I still have a peace treaty with Korea? Yes, I do. That should expire soon though. And they don't really stand a chance. Especially when they are also at war with Spain. They really don't stand a chance. What was this? Some deal with Ram? Oh, open borders with Ram? Yeah, I need open borders from him. Let's see, one gold per ten. I don't think anyone is going to buy my iron or horses anymore, unfortunately. But I can try William. Maybe. Maybe he's silly enough. No, he's not. What about Askia? Unlikely. But it's worth checking. No. Not much point checking Morocco, but I'm going to anyway. Sometimes the AIs are still willing to buy iron or horses very late into the game, which is a little bit weird. But I had it happen many times. Oh, I can sell my vote. I'm actually going to sell my vote to Ethiopia. Because it's not like I'm going to win the world leader vote and they can't win it either. I can only get gold per turn, but I suppose that's fine. Four gold per turn. Alright. Good enough. Two turns for a courthouse. This will actually be a pretty good city. And Seoul will be a very good city as well. I think I'll need a few workboats here. Yeah, I definitely need workboats. I need to wait for my turn. So, how's that Apollo program? 10 turns. I will send some cargo ships with production to Dublin. Just to speed things up. I should get one in a few turns. My trade routes, yeah, I'll get one in 5 turns. So that's going to help a bit. Right, let's see then. I need some work boats. How much would it cost me to just buy one? Two turns to get one. So after the monument. And then another work boat. Like this. Yep, but I want that monument first. That's only one turn anyway. Not really a big deal. Okay, repair this. It's pillaged. And you're still repairing. Let's see, can I get Ethiopia to declare war on Ram? That's unlikely, but it's worth trying. No, they are not going to do it. Nope, not even for 20 gold per turn. What about other way around? Declare war. No, he's not going to do it. Nope, not even for 20 gold per turn. Alright, that's fine. That's probably because he's already at war with Spain. And he doesn't dislike Ethiopia enough. I'm hoping some of the AIs will start to nuke each other. At some point. I could use a nuclear war between the AIs. Just to keep them busy even more and to hurt their economy. Wine. I don't really need any luxuries anymore. I'm at 28 happiness. I won't have any major happiness problems anymore. At least I don't think so. Korea wants the creation of friendship. I don't think so, buddy. I have other plans. I'm only getting dissidents now. So that's not too bad. Seeing how I was down to a revolutionary wave at some point. So, how about... That peace treaty. Did it expire yet? No. Let's just check that real quick. Deal history. Korea. It will expire on turn 433. No. What am I talking about? Was that the deal? Yeah, peace treaty. It began on turn 428. Right, so it will expire on turn 443. Right, so a few more turns and then I can declare war. Korea stands no chance. Not anymore. Okay, what's still pillaged? This is pillaged. I could actually get a railroad here. 
just to move my units around faster. There is a road already, but... Oh, there's a railroad here. Did Korea not finish a railroad or something? Kind of looks that way. Okay. The creation of French with Morocco. Okay. He accepted. I still got some research agreements. I should get telecommunications in four turns. I don't think I'm going to bother building the CN Tower. But I should be the only civilization with telecommunications. So I might actually stand a chance to build the CN Tower. However, focusing on spaceship parts is a lot more important. So I don't think I'm going to bother. I will finish the Manhattan Project soon in case I want a nuke. I will build a nuke somewhere. Even if I don't use it, it's useful. It's always useful to have a nuke because the AIs know that you have a nuke. So I want one, maybe two. I got two uranium, so I can get a nuke easily. And that's my own uranium. Yeah, the AIs don't like Morocco too much, but they don't like each other too much. Mostly because of all the wars. Another declaration of friendship? That was with Askia. I'm not going to extend that one. Askia is pretty much irrelevant at this point. Okay, seven more turns for the Apollo program. One more turn for the Manhattan project. And I should upgrade some of these other units, I guess. I should upgrade this guy. That's 230 gold, never mind. Right, yeah, I'm down to 223 right now. Next. So, a few more turns. Is Spain actually attacking something? Yep, they are attacking Daigo. I want Seoul. I don't mind if Spain takes other cities. I'm not sure if Spain is going to take this though. Because I want Korea to get wiped out. I don't want Korea in this game. I'm not going to risk anything funny happening. Technically, I would only need to take these big cities. Because these cities will have really crap production. But why not just wipe them out when I can? New ally of Genoa. Oh, Golden Age. Okay, I wasn't even paying attention to that. I'm allied with Genoa. Hey, that's nice. That's 34 happiness. The extra production from the Golden Age is actually quite convenient right now. That's going to be helpful. I got that Manhattan project. And I got the workboat. I can just sell that crab right away. Can I buy a luxury and get some extra growth? I would need to buy salt. And no one has any salt for trade from the looks of it. Okay. I'll just... Sell it for 360. Yeah, I'll get another crab on the next turn, so I can sell it right now. 360. And now I can upgrade more units. Upgrade. Upgrade. Okay, mobile sum. I'll keep it here. Next. So what's going on with... The Congress. Oh yeah, world leader, right. Ram has 24 votes. He's allied with a lot of city-states, actually. Which is what he usually focuses on. I think he's still at war with Spain, so that's great. Yep, he is. That was definitely worth it. And I'm pretty sure they are actually fighting each other. Yeah, it looks like Ram is bombing Toledo. Maybe. They are definitely fighting, so that's good. Let's check military ranking. Ram is at 430, Spain is at 759. 
Morocco is quite strong. Is Morocco still at war with Ethiopia? Yes. Okay. I don't think anyone knows the Ninox, but Ethiopia is sitting on at least two Ninox. I'm hoping they will actually use them. I'd like to see Ethiopia nuking Morocco. I am friends with Morocco, but Morocco is quite strong. So that would weaken their economy. And their population. Upgrade again, need to wait. Upgrade this one. Okay. Another workabout, so crab again. And I will need two more workabouts, but that's three more workabouts. But that's lower priority, I suppose. I'll finish that shrine. Okay, workabout, workabout, workabout. I can delay the harbor a bit, but I will finish the shrine. Then get the temple. Cargo ship to Dublin with production. That's 13 hammers. How many hammers in Dublin now? 51. 97. Okay, that's pretty good. Could have been better, but my production in this game wasn't amazing. So 100 hammers isn't too bad, considering how bad my production was in general. I will send more cargo ships with production though, once I actually get them. At least one more, maybe two more. No, no decoration of friendship with William anymore. There's no reason when he's that weak. Okay, Korea, I need one or two more turns to declare that war. The plan is to take Seoul. I might go for Busan, but I actually expect Spain to attack that. But if not, I'll go for it. I got telecommunications, I can get one more research element, but not yet. So, can I declare war? No, I need to wait one more turn, right. Okay, that's fine. Any more improvements? This is out of range of the city. So not much point building a pasture there. I'll just send that worker back home. Off you go. Okay. Upgrade now. I could send the bazooka, but I have enough units here. And this is a bit of a choke point. Alright, next. This should be a fairly one-sided war. And this should give me 8 aluminum. So that's actually useful. Because I don't have any sources of aluminum. I'm just buying aluminum right now. And I am building some recycling centers, but I don't have any. Coal? I'll keep my coal for now. I do have 7, but some of that is from a city-state. Yeah, 7 from Colombo. Did Pyongyang have a factory? Yes, it did, okay. I will assign the specialists, but I need the city to grow a bit first. Actually, I should change the tile assignments. Come on, give me my turn already. Ethiopia likes shiny things. Yeah. So does Isabella. My city wants gold. Oh yeah, I can get that easily. I can buy that from Morocco. For 9 gold per 10. I don't think he will buy iron. I got 20 iron. Yeah, I'll buy this for 9 gold per 10. Just to get some extra city growth. And let's see. I should read all these manually. This city will have pretty good production. So let's lock all these good tiles first. That leaves me with two citizens. Lock the wheat farm. That leaves me with one. So... Well... I could lock a mine with five hammers. One fold isn't really worth it. Yeah, one fold, one hammer is kind of crappy. Okay, this works. Right. And I should be able to declare war on Korea now. However, I'm going to do that in the next part. So this one is done. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.